I want y'all to watch this shake on the end of this log open up. Cypress hides it really bad. And it'll open up, and I've lost a lot of Woma 12s for my house due to this. But since this is going on a barn, he might be able to hide a lot of it and get by with it. Not really hide it, but get by with it and put it in places uh, that's not so uh, visible or, or whatever. But as I'm cutting this stuff, y'all watch this, watch this stuff open up. Did y'all see that shake open up like that? Tell you what, I've lost a lot of a lot of cypress, especially mainly cypress. Uh, I don't know why that is the main tree that has done it for me, but it's a pain in the butt. And the worst part about it is you can't do nothing about it. Uh, hopefully, when you're cutting things like that, that you have another job or another use for something smaller than what you're cutting you can try to cut that that bad spot out of it fortunately i can use this same stuff cut them two and a half inches and use them for batting strips on my house i still need quite a few of those but look at this mess you can as you can see and was seeing in the other part while i was cutting this this is the opposite end of the log than what what y'all seen it open up on it hides so well i mean you see a little crack on the end if you see any crack at all on the end of that cypress log it's more than likely gonna bust on you and how unfortunate that is cypress for me is not real easy to come across it takes forever to grow but hey what we're we gonna do about it keep making sawdust let me see if i can get you in here where you can see it it's this growth ring right here. It goes up and around. And it starts a little bit in this one, but you can see it's a different color. It's a little separation in that one. And then uh, it looks like it's cracked on this one right here. So it's that pretty much that growth ring. And the information I dug through was it's a bacterium that causes this. It's not stress on the tree. Although uh, stress from wind and loads, maybe all up north have that, the, the snow loads and stuff like that, that can damage trees. But from the information I found, it's a bacterium that causes this. And I guess the most important part, rather than trying to figure out what causes it, is noticing it before you cut to know what you're going to turn this log into. Um, you don't want to be cutting your boards like this, then have it split in your boards and then you have to put them off to the side and, and not get what the uh, get not get what you're expecting to get out of it. But with with hit this cutting them one with twelves, that log will I could get some out of it. So 
we did what we could, and I'm going to cut those down into something smaller. I'll be able to salvage some of that wood. It is a big pain in the butt. But hey, what you going to do about it? Keep cutting. That's all you can do. Move on to the next one. Very prominent in Cypress down here for me, uh, especially the place where it might be the area I'm getting the trees from. Uh, but with that being said, let's move on to the next one.